We bear bears because these bears are bear. Good. We Bear Bears is a original Cartoon Network cartoon show. And it's about these three bears, Panda, Grizz, and Ice Bear, who live in the city. Well, they live close by to the city. They actually live in like a cave thingy. It's a cave that they turned into a house, so it's a cave house. And it's just about their misadventures, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Now, I briefly did some research on the backstory, and this concept came from a comic. I believe that the creator of the comic is also the creator of the cartoon, so that's quite cool. The three bears have very distinct personalities, and that's quite good. Grizz is the oldest, he's the brown one and he's meant to be the mature one but he's not really he kind of like causes a lot of the issues he's the goofy big brother i think that's the best way to describe him panda is the middle one the middle child he's like a hopeless romantic he is the social media representation forever on tinder forever looking for a date forever looking for likes on facebook etc and he's a lot more shy so his dates never really worked out and ice bear my favorite character when he was a young cub he didn't speak at all and even when he's older he doesn't speak much and he refers to himself in third person and he's very mysterious he's like into martial arts and he keeps to himself and of course he's an ice bear so he lives in the refrigerator so you can't speak about wee bear bears without mentioning burrito episode it's the episode where grizz gets a gigantic burrito his brothers try to get rid of it because they read on the internet that having an obsession with food in this manner is very bad. And at the end, the big burrito blows up. And the reason why this makes such a connection with a lot of the fan base is because it's very well written. In the beginning, we see Grizz as a baby bear and he's stuck in a tree. And then the story happens in the middle part with the burrito. And at the end, we see the conclusion to the beginning part, kind of. And I think. For me, it's like the first episode I saw them as bear cubs, and we don't know that much backstory to them. Like, we don't know how they met. There's a lot more episodes now of them as baby bears, but it doesn't go to when they met or how they connected because they're brothers, but they're obviously not related to each other because none of them are the same species. None of them are the same type of bear, I mean. But in those early stage episodes, not the beginning episodes, but the ones where they're younger. I think that's kind of like cool because A, they're adorable, and B, they're, I think their adventures when they're bear cubs is a lot more adventurous because they do a lot of traveling and they have to journey to the spot that they come to. And there's an episode where they end up in a package packing workshop and they end up getting shipped off, I think. So it's kind of like nice to see the journey, but what's also nice about the episode on television is that they're not in order and it jumps around a lot. Well, I'm not sure which episode comes next, so it keeps it interesting. We Bear Bears has goofy humor and can be quite funny, but it also has a lot of sweet moments, especially those moments with Chloe, the little university student and the bears because there's a general connection with all of them and you can feel for the bears like you feel for Grizz's to a certain extent loneliness or, although he's always surrounded by his brothers he wants to make friends he wants to be sociable he wants to go out and do things with other people as well as his brothers so you kind of have like a sense of loneliness with Grizz um, as well as Panda but that's more in the romantical sense in a more romantic sense romantical is in the word and Ice Bear is my favorite because, and with Ice Bear, that he's like a mystery, so you're not exactly sure why he's thinking or what he's gonna do next. And they just they balance each other out very well, and none of them are too serious. Although I think Panda, ironically, the middle child, is the more serious one, and Ice Bear is the more quiet one, but he's serious in the like non-stereotypical serious way because when he talks it's serious but he doesn't talk much so he's not as serious and he doesn't he does a lot of things but he doesn't like get in the way unless he has to to protect his brothers i like the groupness and i just think it's a fun show to watch the music is very catchy 
The design is very simple but cute. Well, it looks simple, but trust me, it isn't. I struggled to draw it the first time and second time. It's just a fun show. It's going well, which is a good thing, and I suggest check it out. Thanks guys so much for watching, sorry this video is late. Happy Halloween and have a good day and night. This all art is source of intelligence.